She's counting batteries right now. Hey guys, I'm in Basangren Chemin, which is near uh, the Dominican border in Haiti. We're in a community that we've come to before where we've brought technology. You may have seen before where we had small flip video cameras out here and we were teaching the children how to use them. That was the first step in a process. So what we're doing out here today is uh, I'm actually just filming. Uh, this has been been completely uh, run by Haitians. Silov, Wadner, and uh, Mano have been out here pre-testing the children to find out what the children do and don't know about certain selected items that we're testing. Uh, we're leaving six iPods with videos, educational videos, in Creole. Those are videos that Silov and I made. Où est ça? Est-ce que vous attendez moi? Oui. Oui, où est ça? Oui. They like them. Those videos teach the very things that we pre-tested. So they teach some shapes like circle, square, rectangle, star, octagon. They teach primary colors like red, blue, green, those kinds of colors. Lots of different stuff. So we're testing all kinds of different uh, dynamics. We pre-tested before they saw any of the videos so we know exactly what each child does and doesn't know. And then we left the videos. We taught them how to use the iPod. Sea Love did a great job of running through the technology, showing them how to do it. We left money for gas for the generator to charge the iPods. We left power strips and chargers. Um, we basically have covered every base here. Now we're going to walk away for two weeks and we're going to come back. And the very first thing we're going to do when we come back is we're going to test with the same test and see if the children's uh, knowledge base has grown at all. Now this is kind of cool. This is the beginning of a bigger idea that you'll see more of later. This is just a little piece of scrap wood. There's a little angle and a little lip. So the iPod can actually rest on there without slipping. So that, that way it helps the child orient the iPod correctly so it's not standing this way when the video needs it to be this way. And if they're sitting at a table, it will sit, the iPod will sit on there, otherwise it would just slip, it would just fall. And the kid would have to hold it with their hand and figure out how to write. This allows them to prop the iPod up. My hand is the table. Prop it up and then they can have both hands free to write and, and write along, color along, draw along, whatever. Merci. Thank you, Pastor Desamo. All right, thank you, Luke. We're looking forward to see what happens here. So, right. so far the excitement is big, but will they learn? That's the question. 